Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're just going to give some time and then we're going to start. I'm glad to see you today. I'm glad that you're here. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome in. You the mighty things. You the glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Good morning, sister. Good morning, everyone. Just going to give some minutes and we're going to start. A couple of minutes, about two minutes and we'll start. Or well, maybe three minutes. Let's just begin to welcome in the presence of the Holy Spirit while we wait to start. Let's just begin to welcome in the Spirit of the Lord. We need Him. We, without Him, we can do nothing. But we have no power of our own. Let's just begin to welcome the presence of the Lord while we wait. Hallelujah. You the mighty things. You the glorious things, you're a faithful God, and no sin is your name. You the mighty things, you the glorious things, you're a faithful God, and no sin is your name. You the mighty things, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. You do my, you do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. Let's just welcome in the presence of the Lord. You do my, God bless you, God bless you, sister, God bless you. You do glorious things. While we wait, let's just usher in the presence of God. Just worship Him. Just ask the Holy Spirit to come in. Without Him, we can do nothing. Let's just invite Him. You the glorious things, and awesome is Your name. You the mighty things. You the glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is Your name. You the mighty things, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. You the mighty, you the mighty things, you the glow, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God. And awesome is your name, Ashe Kapaya. You the mighty things, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. You the mighty, you the mighty things, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. Let's just begin to usher in the presence of God. One more minute. Two more minutes and we're going to start. You the mighty things. You the glorious things. You're a faithful God. And awesome is your name. You the mighty, you the mighty things. You the glow, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God. And awesome is your name. You the mighty things. You the glory. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. You the mighty things, you the glorious things. Ah, you're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. You the mighty things, you the glorious things. You're a faithful God, and awesome is your name. You the mighty things, you the glorious things. You are a faithful God, and awesome is your name. 
You do my, you do mighty things, you do glorious things. You are a faithful God, and awesome is your name. Oh, oh, oh and awesome is your name. Hey, hey, and awesome is your name. Oh, Jehovah, and awesome is your name. Oh, Yeshua, awesome is your name. Holy Spirit, awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining. Welcome to Saturday Recharge. I'm excited and just elated to see all of you here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What is Saturday Recharge? Saturday recharge is the mandate that the Lord gave me to come here every Saturday to recharge. He recharges me to recharge his people, you know, to empower us and give us a thing that we can run into the new week and we can just be on fire for God. Like I always say, you have, uh, you have exercised your, your strength and energy in spiritual things and even the things of responsibility and the weekend is where you decide that you want to wind down you want to relax you want to power down but we know that satan is not taking off days and we have decided that we are also not going to take off days in the name of jesus um i'm only a vessel right without the power of the holy spirit i can do nothing i'm just a vessel um, the Holy Spirit has been giving us a theme every week. I press in through the night in prayer to receive a theme from him. And I, we release the theme and we pray about it here on Saturday, Richard. He's been changing the dy dimensions and the dynamics of the prayer. Please let me know if the background sound is too loud. Let me know in the comment section down below if you can hear me. I would appreciate that feedback. Before we start, I would like for us to just open up this prayer session with a quick word of prayer. And we can go right into it. Hallelujah. So please bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for yet another Saturday recharge. We thank you for another Saturday that you have preserved us. You have kept us. You have just, just secured us. You have just covered us and, and just enabled us to come here again. It is. It takes grace. It takes your empowerment to do this. Father, we thank you. We take no glory for ourselves. We release every glory unto you. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you will permeate this atmosphere and every atmosphere that is connecting in we ask that you will saturate this place with your presence with your fire with your power we release the blood of jesus christ all over everywhere we release the blood of jesus into the airwaves we bind up every spirit of distraction every spirit that will come to distract the lord's people will rebuke you and we cast you out we release the spirit of focus and a sound mind in the name of jesus abba father we ask that you will release the angels that you have appointed and assigned to this mandate let the angels be strategically positioned in the name of jesus i ask that faith will rise up in the hearts of your people that they will mix the word with faith that it will profit them much in the mighty name of jesus lord i'm asking oh god that even the ones who will connect on the replay on youtube they will equally be a partaker that the word will still be potent, that the power of God will still rest on the word that it will do them much good even if they watched it two months three months a year five years from now that it would still carry your potent power in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit we can do nothing of our own strength we ask that you will come and dwell in our midst holy spirit this is your platform this is your turf this is your territory do whatever you decide to do if you want to shake things up if you want to change the dimension of things last minute i yield to you i am your vessel and we are your people. You said that we should not forsake the gathering of the saints. Even though we're gathering online, we are still gathered. And you said where two or more are gathered, therein you are present. So welcome, Holy Spirit of the living God. Welcome, King Jesus. Come and be mounted on the throne of this platform. Do what only you can do and let every glory, every honor be ascribed back unto you. I'm a vessel. I'm asking that you will hide me behind the cross, that the people will not come here to see me. They will not just hear my voice, but they will hear you through me in the name of jesus i'm asking that no one who comes here will go back empty-handed or go back the same because no one encounters a king and remains the same how much the king of glory the king of all kings and the lord of all lords so father we appreciate you we love you 
We bless you. We plead the blood of Jesus on this live stream. We say, blessed be your name, Abba Father. Receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty, wonderful name we pray. Amen. And like I said, the Holy Spirit has been giving us a thing. Thank you for that feedback. The Holy Spirit has been giving us a thing every week. So I was pressing in and prayer through the night and uh, just pressing in and praying and praying. So this morning and i didn't get a feedback i was like okay holy spirit if you don't give me a feedback if you don't give me a thing if you don't give me a direction there's nothing i can do then i'm just gonna come and look at god's people we're gonna look at ourselves so i went and decided to lay down i said you know what let me just lay down for a couple of hours just rest my body before i come on here live and i heard this word so loud in my spirits power to become power to become it was so loud that it woke me out of my sleep because i could hear my spirit man praying even while i was sleeping power to become I, I just jumped out of my sleep when i heard it so the theme of today's prayer is power to become the theme of today's prayer is power to become power to become if you want to write that down in the in the comment section god bless you the theme of today's prayer is power to become and of course, I've got, I'm going to search the scriptures when the Lord gives me a word. Sometimes he gives me a scripture. Sometimes he may give me a theme, just a word. And I go and I search the scripture and I say, Holy Spirit, can you breathe on this for me? Can you elaborate? Can you say more? You know? Yeah. And uh, where the, the Holy Spirit took me to is the scripture in John 1, 12 that says, But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe him. Power to become. Again, the theme of today's prayer is power to become. Okay. So the Bible makes us know, it's so clear to us that as many as received God, he gave the power to become sons of God. So it took power for us to be saved. It wasn't just because we said the sinner's prayer. It wasn't just because we, we recited or a pastor said, repeat after me. And then we repeated after that pastor or that minister or that child of God. And we just automatically became saved. There was a power dimension that was released for us to become sons of god first of all we received him the word we received the word of salvation and the power was released even to them that believed him and the lord wants to talk about power to become today what we're going to be pressing in today is the power to become so we don't just need power to become sons of god and who are sons of god the bible says that those who obey the lord those who obey the lord's commandments are sons of god so those who do god's will are sons of god it takes power for you to become anything that god has called you to do there's so many things that the lord has spoken concerning your life there's so many words that have gone before you the lord has called you to be a, a business owner it takes power to do that the lord has called you to marriage it takes power to do that the lord has called you to be a mother it takes power to do that we see in the scriptures in scripture in acts acts 1 8 it says the, the tarry it says but ye shall receive power after the holy spirit has come upon you that you may be witnesses so it even takes power to evangelize it's not just you just preaching the word to them you know repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand oh give your life to god repeat after me to they had to tarry to receive power even to evangelize so it takes power to do every single thing that the lord will have you become are you trying to become a better version of yourself it takes power you know there are times where people will say can't you exercise your willpower to change just think just change your mind even your willpower is powered by another source because of course the bible said it is god who gives us the will and the ability to do of his good pleasure so he gives us the the desire which is the will and he also gives us the ability which is the power the doing grace to do it so you even your willpower is powered by another spirit i don't know what the lord has called you to do here i don't know if the lord has called you to marry i don't know if the lord has called you to be a business owner i don't know if the lord has told you to become become something become be promoted at your job whatever becoming 
that you have on your life whatever word to become it will take the power of god so today we are going to be praying for the power to become some of us are transitioning we're in a season of transition where the lord is taking us from one place to another it will take the power of god for you to become a greater version of yourself it will take the power of god for you to minister it will take the power of god for you to heal the sick it will take the power of god for you to become don't believe the kool-aid and the lies of the enemy that the, your your co-workers at your job who seem like they're atheists they don't believe in something they are powered by something no one is truly atheist in this day and age to be honest no one is truly atheist they may not believe in your god they may not believe in yeshua hamashiach they may not believe in yahweh but they believe in a god they believe in something they're empowered by something even your phone your phone is empowered by a battery charger you have to charge that battery for it to continue to function everything there are different types of power solar power battery powered power whatever types of power there are different kinds of power but everything is powered by something power to become you see the bible says that even sarah who was well stricken in age she received by faith she received the strength to conceive seed strength is what power right and the bible even says that it is the lord that gives you power again to make wealth so sister j are you saying it doesn't just take skills to make wealth are you just saying it doesn't just take training are you saying it doesn't just take my resume my accolades and you know to 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 make wealth of course training is good mentorship is good all of these things are good but it takes even power to make wealth we can see in the bible where peter was a skilled fisherman Peter had a good net. Peter had his boats. Peter was out there in the, in the deep. He was right there. He had every natural components and elements to make wealth. He had every natural element and components to catch, have a good catch. But you see, the Bible says that he tarried all night and yet caught nothing until he had an encounter with Jesus. Jesus came. And he said, I've, I've tarried all night and I caught nothing. He said, but Lord, at thy word, at thy word, who knows that God's word comes with power. The Bible says that Jesus upholds all things by the word of his what? Power, by the word of his power. So you see, Peter had every natural element that he needed. He had every natural element, everything, all his ducks were in a row. But yet, he didn't have the requisite success that 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 he that he would all he didn't have the requisite success albeit that he had everything naturally intact it took the word of god's power for peter to have a net breaking catch so that's where you see that it takes power to make wolf you may have the right products you may have the right service you may have the right skill you may have every of your dogs in a row yet you may not become because it takes power to become it takes power to become everything that you want to become if you have rebellious children and they're not listening to you you're talking and talking and talking and nothing is happening you're constantly warning them and telling them things and they're not listening mother father go into your prayer was that don't just pray for your children go there and generate power say father empower my voice go there generate some power pray in tongues 30 minutes an hour come back again and repeat that same instruction and see if they will not listen it takes power to become it takes power to become it takes power to get married especially if you come from a bloodline that does not favor marriages if you come from a bloodline where they don't like to hear about marriage you come from a bloodline where marriage fails or you can count how many god god kingdom marriage in your entire bloodline if you come from a marriage a, 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 a bloodline where mar there's an anti-marriage covenant an anti-marriage spirits an anti-marriage a long line of failed marriages or no marriages at all it's not going to take your beauty to get married it's not going to take your good character albeit those things are necessary and needed to sustain the marriage after you are married it will take power it will take the power of the lord to break that status quo to break that covenant to break that trend to break that 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 thing that has been running that thing that has been going from person to person generation to generation sister you've always been beautiful sister you've always had the nice character why is the marriage not coming because sometimes it takes power 
It takes power for them men even to notice that you're beautiful and you have a good character. There are times where people come from bloodlines that when men look at these women, they can't even see the woman. They're seeing something else. They've probably seen the image of a man. They've probably seen a distorted image because what these covenants do is that they project something on you so that you can continue that long line of, of, of failure. That covenant, that, that those idols in the bloodline, those, those altars, they want continuity. So they project something on that sister that if not because of the power of God, she can't even be seen. And when the power of God comes, some brother will come and say, Oh, sister, where have you been? Or be they've been in the same ministry for years. The man did not notice the woman. And he's like, wow, are you new in this church? And she's like, no, I've been serving in the usher unit. And I've been serving in the choir for, for, for the past five years now. Why? What happened? Is it that she all of a sudden became attractive? Is it that she all of a sudden became beautiful? Was she not beautiful this entire time? And this applies to men and women because they're covenants that don't allow men to also marry. So it's not just about women. It takes power to marry. It takes power to be successful in business. Because even when, what do you think your, your, your com competitors do? Do you know what they do before they come to business? If you're in a line of business, you're the only believer. Or you're in a job where you're the only believer. Don't believe that your, 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 Co-workers don't believe in something. They're empowered by something. So today, I'm just admonishing you because I like to give context before we pray so we're not just praying blindly. As the Holy Spirit explains it to me, I come and I also render that same explanation to you so that you understand and you, your, your prayer is targeted at something. So today, we are asking the Lord for power to become. I don't know what the Lord has called you to become in this season. I don't know if the Lord has called you to become a minister of the gospel, a man of God, an evangelist, a prophet, a wife, a husband, to write a book. It takes power. Speaking of that, I wrote a book in 2021. I published a book called Co-Parenting with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit revealed himself to me as a co-parent. And this is not a co-parent for single mothers or single fathers, whether you're married, single, whatever. It takes power to parent children. You understand that the world is getting darker and the enemy is, is, is deploring all manner of evil to corrupt the minds of people. It would take power. It won't just take kindness. It won't just take love. It won't just take you providing for them. It would take power, power, power to raise children. So today you've come here with all manner of things that the Lord is telling you to do. And maybe you feel like, oh God, I'm not qualified to do these things. I don't have the expertise. I don't have the training. Before you get this training, let's generate power today. Let's generate power throughout this week to become everything that the Lord has told you that you become. Last week, we talked about the strength to love the Lord. We prayed about strength to love the Lord. Now that you love the Lord, we want to be empowered, right? It doesn't stop at loving the Lord. You also want to be empowered. The next time you go back to your job and you're suggesting something to your boss and it's as if everything you say is falling on deaf ears. Now you're coming in with power. You repeat that thing again and it's like you heard it for the first time. Now they're going to hear your voice because you will speak with the power of God, the power to become. The Lord wants to address today the power to become, to become sons of God, to become you ones who are in, in the depths, in the middle and in the center of God's will, fulfill, fulfilling his will to the very tip. Today we are obtaining power to become. Power to become healed. Maybe you've been dealing with an infirmity. It takes the power of God. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power so it is possible for you to have the holy spirit and not have power it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed of the devil for the lord was with him i love that scripture because it's a, it's a scripture the lord gave me when i went on a 21 day 21 day water fast and it was a scripture that i kept praying every day i it kept ringing in my head so I really love that scripture. So the Lord anointed Jesus, not just with the Holy Ghost and with power. So today we're going to be focused. I believe I've admonished enough. Whatever you're believing God, whatever you want to become, it takes power to break ad addiction. If you want to become sober, at some point in my life, I was addicted to something. It took power to break me out of that addiction. Okay. No pastor laid hands on me, but I had an encounter where the deliverer himself came in the cool of the night and sang songs of deliverance and i woke up without the desire 
uh, without the hold of that thing and from that day till now i've never struggled with that because it takes power to become whatever you're trying to become you're trying to become a business successful business owner you're trying to become a wife you're trying to become a, a husband you're trying to become an author you're trying to become uh, promoted at your job you're trying to become pregnant whatever the lord has called you to become my brother and my sister are you ready to pray let's contend for the power to become this week let's contend for the power to become it took power for fishers of men fishers fishers of fish to become fishers of men it took power for fishers of fish to become fishers of men it takes power to become it takes power to be transformed it takes power to do everything it takes power without any more delay let's just begin to pray if you have your heavenly language begin to pray if you're in a place where you can close your eyes and focus let's just focus and pray and press in if you don't have your heavenly language i pray that the holy spirit will baptize you right now i pray that the power of god will come upon you and overshadow you and loose your tongue that you begin begin to pray in the holy spirit what is the scripture the the anchor scripture for saturday recharge ever it is jude 120 building up yourself in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost that's also building power and one thing that the holy spirit i'm going to mention this one thing and we'll pray one thing that the holy spirit was putting on my heart is that a lot of his children use prayer as just a, a means of inquiry and a means of petition you bring to god all your issues and you say father do this father do that and that's not wrong we are dependent on god we have no power of our own or you say oh god can i do this can i do that that's a dimension of prayer but a lot of us are lacking where we go to the place of prayer. We use prayer as a tool to generate power. So this is not where you're asking God to do something. You are going to the place of prayer and you're saying, God, empower me. Empower me. The next time I send in my resume, the next time I go for that interview, let your power be upon me. Lord, empower me to marry. You go into the place of prayer and the only thing is that you're going in there to generate power. Not to lay your petitions before the Lord, not to pray prayers of inquiries, but to generate power. What do you think I do before I come here to talk to you? Throughout the night, I'm generating power. If not, you're not going to listen to anything I'm saying. The words I will speak will be empty words. I stay in a place of prayer, generating power. So that's what we're going to do today. Again, the theme of prayer, the theme of today's prayer is power to become power to become we're going to be generating power in the place of prayer today again we're going to be generating power in the place of prayer today if you've been speaking to someone and they're not listening to you be it a boss be it a business partner be it your children and they're not listening today go we're going to generate power that the next time you speak they will be compelled to listen there's something called anakazo it's a compelling force for people to be drawn to you we don't believe in the in the law of attraction but we believe in the power of god there's a dimension of god's power called anakazo it's the force that allows people to come and hear you hear what you're saying hear the word of god from your mouth so now let's begin to pray power to become power to become successful parents power to become a wife power to become sons of god power to crush it in business power to become all that the lord has designed for us and written in the books concerning our lives if you're joining in late please do well to watch the replay let's begin to pray if you don't have your heavenly language begin to say lord give me the power to become lord release the power to become E kaya da ba soko raba seke nere ba kora ba yante rebe sura ba ka e rebe sura ba kandele be soko raba sata Holy Spirit part of your dimensions. A part of the seven spirit of God is the spirit of might. And might also translates as power. Might is also power. So, Father God, Holy Spirit, we are praying for the dimension of the Holy Spirit that is might and power. We are receiving power today to become whatever it is that you want us to become. Whatever it is that you have written, we are obtaining power to become. We are obtaining power to become. It takes focus in a place of prayer for you to generate power. So right now, let's just begin to press in. 
e kayara baso tore baba handele bakondoro boso kotore beke e kale barate yara base ke tere be koro boso tore beke i lava roko soto baba kaya base tele ba koro boso to e katene ndasku kandele barate kadora ta ya baraka e kondero boso tore baba kandele beke ya e bakusa rebe yonto robo komba randa kande e barete yende ke ya baronto kabareke skende rebe yande e kandoro boso ko payatia parotos katara baraka sata i monto korata reke deska rebe yanto konde e baraka base ke rebe kondoro boko you will receive power to become in the name of jesus baraka yatosko rabaya tareke yatore de yotoro bosco ibarasia korada banase kebe rekea iso korobo soto reba bakaya baraka taya baraka sike in kontora bas kontoro boko nde beke ila bakante le de kondora bas kontora ba ikarada reke para dos kotoria baka ila base kere de kondoro boso konde maseke tala ba konto loboko isa baka tala baka tala ba Emba seketeli abakoshka talabante ila tosko talabanto loboko ete ketoshka la damaske ntelede Manisa kila tia kuba isuraka pali antoko poroto ila paraske tede de kondo e palika sakatea Holy Spirit release the power for us for your children to become for us to become all that you have called us to do ila kuba raka seketea ila para kandelekete power to marry power to stay married power to become successful business owners power to become successful at our careers power oh God to parent children we have Ten power to become. We have ten power to become in the name of Jesus. E kato shate ba ko shate ba ka. I kande bande kande le pa ko. I parako tonda kambande ke yada maseke te liberata. I kande le be kondo robo sokoto. E bare dos koto ni anda kataya. E latosh kande le ba konde le de be konde le de be konde le de be ya maseke ya bataya. I sato shata ba ya kapaya sataya barata. I konto robo skondo raba ba. Ande kataya, e masi kere dos korada yando roto komba ne katonte, e latushka pari antoko paya tana kaza, ne soto kolo bo konde le de de, isa koko roko tolo do roto, i katori antoko rondo tareke tore be ro tore be yo tore be yo to, isparosko rate baratons kane nando rotonta, i bere to roko paraka pasate, intoska panti katane konto na mana. Aseke baratos kataya, e baraka sokotoria bakaya. How Jesus anointed, how God anointed His children today with the Holy Ghost and with power. How God Almighty anointed His children today, His sons and daughters with the Holy Ghost and with power, with the Holy Ghost and with power. E kabo sokora da sakara da kapaya, e masokotore bakata leke teyata, maske telebe kotonta la da bakam teleke ir. Raka tosh kapala da katat mesekeria da rata pakala barata kapara da rata ekotore bakata la bakata la masekete rekete. I don't care if you failed at that thing before. I don't care if you are failing today. You obtain power to become. You go back and try again after this session. Bala sukere be kotoro. If you feel you haven't had the power, replay the session, watch it, pray again, and then go back. But today, this week, we are obtaining the power of God to become. In the name of Jesus, e makoso tora bakata ya le katosha nte kapande le kata re kapande le kapande le kata e mbande le baya kata lata masikete le bakande le teya iraka soto na bashata bakande masikete le kadonta nata ya into rabante kapande le kete iraka tuska ratashka rabante yatanta patanta e mbante katonta bante lanta yanta e mbarante kento robante katalinta lata masa Tu kalatunta i barontos kadande bedonte banto rataya i roto sakatura diatora da barata kabarata da barata e soto maneka soto na mashata kapa i surata litura baya katana mana e soto rapa i katuna maska e tona mana kabande leke bande leke jante intalo to raba kante leke te i roko poko to le barakata la kapada kata la bakata la bakata rekatante kapananta kata 
manta kapala kata ntata ikapala da kapanta kata ikala kapanta kata iraka pakante lekeata nenta kala tante isura batunta talenta pakante ila kosha palata lakata inosko de balatande le delata ila tulata la batunta la dapa release your power oh god for us to become illa seke la tora la batana shatana empalakana patala tantaya ikatorata katala batana mateka la bonta kapali katala eloso korata parana satana shatana ipalika tira katila katora kapaya illo kopande la kasatana mante katolon tapaya ikota la baraka tala ikomte la barante kata illa turia baratonta tayata eso Tala bandola makande getele keto ibasko bali dalika toma elakoto bakata laba esakia dalanta kabalata ebaraka tala balaka tala dalata nante kabalaka tala dabalaka ta ilaka bonte ketele te we receive power to become we receive power to become how oh, Jesus how oh, God Almighty anointed sister J anointed sister J's brothers and sisters in Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power with the Holy Ghost and with power. And we went about doing good, and we went about doing good, healing all those who are oppressed of the devil. For the Lord was with us. E maseke beleke tele kapunta la kashante. I laturi atarika roto barata ya. I baseke barata ya barata. E kotome leke tenda la kapaya. La suta rete ya rotora. E mbaske paya korama ta ya kapayata. E katona baraka tanaka satana. E kotore bekete le kaponta lata. E ratora kapa. I know that you have prayed about that petition. You prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened. But now the Lord wants to give you the power to become. We are generating power in the place of prayer. Because that's also the, the tool of prayer. It's also to the end that we generate power. We generate power. Generate power, masakali barateke. Itoro be don to kopota ya. Ibaraka bonte ketele ketonta. Ibere ketomba rada dante kata. Ilado barento skotono boroto konte. Iloto mi yanto rabonto kopande lepeyo. Usomante kapande katonda ra. Ebanande kapande kadande kete day. You applied before and they denied you. As you generate power today to become in the name of Jesus, you go and try again. And they will have no other choice because the power of the Lord will be speaking to you. Because the power of the Lord will be speaking through you. Because the power of the Lord will be speaking in you. Because the power of the Lord will be speaking all over that application. Power to become in the name of Jesus. Power to become. For as many of them that received him, he gave power. He gave power. Even the ones who believed him, he gave power. Power to become sons of God not just to be saved not just to be believers but to go and do the will of the father to go and do the will everything that is in the in God's will for your life they gain power we need power ilakoba sheke banda yaka bana reka bakatende le patande kapayata isokobante katanante ilabante katalanta if you are like me and you're tired of talking and talking and nothing is happening now generate power so this time you won't have to talk too much this time you won't have to waste your energy speaking and speaking like you're speaking to people who cannot hear you now generate Great power and go back again. In la kozande kabonta rabata, masketeli abaladante ketea. Isokara badante kabanta kayata. Ilotoraka bayanda skayata barata. E koshka danto panto kotorante kaba. Ila kabante ketedente kayata. If you have a habit that you cannot come, generate power today. Ila suta rekoto mante kabante ya. Ila baska tande lekepe ya. Ilo koba sheke banto. Isatane kab. There is always a power dimension to everything you're trying to become beyond the mentorship, beyond the training, beyond the schooling, beyond the preparation. There's always a power dimension to bring that word to pass. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven is not in talk. It's not in the eloquence of word. It's not in vain speaking, but it's in power. 
Power to become. Holy Spirit, empower us to become. We go again this new week with your power. We go again this week with your might. Ikadoska, Ikadoska, Embonte Barate Kadonte, Ibatonta Kadante Kadandea, Ilatulata Lita Lonta Payataya, Iko Sompe Kande Latia, Esekeri Dadoska Deriata, Ebarante Kapanto Kotorata, Eto Labadante Kapande Lekete, Ilatonta Kapande Keteata, Esura Ia Kubayanta, Eboronto Skoba Nashka Daya, Nelekende Lebe Kende Lete, Ikurata Kapakata Lakata. Ela tusha, ela tusha, e baranto kaparante kapadante leke dembe leke tea, i kabante le kabante leke bente leke tea, e barakabante ke de leke denda, e la kubayanta kanta kanta, ma seke tea kalyata, e baraka seke tea bakata. Envision like you are charging your phone battery and the power is going up 40%, 50%, 60%. Generate power, power to become e la koska da bande kapa. Andea, ila kopante leke dente leke ya, iko radante kapante leke tea, e sonte kaya dura da, for your situation to change, it takes power. It takes power. E baraka tombante kapande lekete. I kalabadante kapande lekete. E soria to rata rapaya sakana panaka satana. E konte lanto kande bande yante. I kando lonto karata yadante. Masekaya ta. Masekaya ta. Re kabondo rabasante kapande lekete talata. E kataladante kapalante ketele. U karabaraka tande kapande lata. E kotalabaka tande ketea. U rakapalatande kapalata. Mante. Tele kapante katata, iku rabadante keteketo, ila do barakata. Empower, oh God, your people to become, to become. Ila tus kapante le tele katon, ibaraske pele dente kapata. Ironto yadaranto karadanto rabadante kapadante yadata. Ika daba kala daba kala daba kala, usante kedekete. I speak power over your vessel. I balika tande. I charge your spirit, man. I charge your spirit, man. E lakusa bara tande ke. Your children will no longer be disobedient to your voice because this time you speak it with the voice of power. You won't have to raise your voice. That thing you said so many times and they did not listen. Now you charge up yourself in power. You obtain power. You generate power in the place of prayer. You go back again and say that thing you said. I lakusa toya. Power has a voice. Power. Power has a voice. I kadaske banto kande leke pe. I latunz kande nda kabada. Esa deka 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 dea. Ureke ponde leka pande leka ta. Embande kabande leke te. Embande kabande leke te. Embande leka tanti ata. Isura de yaka de leke ponto loko tosha. Embaraka seke bato rata yaka po. E katono koso tore bakata. Esa tene kende leke te. I latura te ya bakante. Esa ke ata. Press in for power to be become pressing for power to become the lord wants to give you the power to become a salika roto barata ya bakata lakata ya iso matalika bon kontoloto e saka bakante lekete ya ureke yante lakapanta e labase ke ya to i laboro kosko tone ya pa i kapande lekepe if jesus who was the who was god in the flesh on this earth needed power we will also need power it took power for jesus to go to the cross even though he was god incarnate on the earth even though he was god in the flesh even though he was the living breathing word he still had to be endued with power the word of god says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with with the Holy Ghost and with power. Ikalabasuka ndelekaya. You need power to become. We need power to become. Press in marakatosh katalabante keteya. Ekabante le kabante le kete. Ebarante katante ketekeya. Ekalakadonte kapata. We release power for you to even pray. To become a prayer warrior. To become a person of prayer. To become a person of intimacy with God. It takes power to become. It takes power to change. It takes power to become something different than what you already are. Your mindset, just shifting your mind is not enough. It starts there, but it doesn't stay there. Power to become in the name of Jesus. Power to become that business mogul. Power to become that successful person at your career. Power to become a successful kingdom parent. Power to become a wife. Every time there's a covenant, wherever there's been a covenant and idols and and and, and 
all manner of altars in your bloodline that does not favor marriages that will not allow you to marry in the name of jesus by the power of the blood let all covenants be broken let all covenants be broken let every anti-marriage covenant be broken let every covenant of poverty be broken by the power that is resident in the blood of jesus by the power of the blood by the power of the blood by the power of the blood Father, release power to become. Father, release power to become. Everything that you have called us to become. Lord, release the power dimension. Lord, release the power component. Father, release your power. Oh, the speed of might. Let it come upon your people that they can become that which you have called them to become some of us some of them they have their dogs in a row they're beautiful they have good character but yet where's the marriage father will release power to become wives in the name of jesus they have their resume they have their degrees they have all the certification but yet no job father will release the power to make wealth in the name of jesus father lord they have children that are not listening that have become rebellious for the power to parent in the name of jesus you have called them to be evangelists they've been trying to win souls but nobody is listening for the release power to become witnesses in the name of jesus they've been trying to conceive children but barrenness is a trend in their family the word of god says our matriarch sarah even though she was war stricken in age she obtained strength by faith to, to, to bring forth seed in the name of jesus power to become a mother power to become a father power in the name of jesus power to be Come all that the Lord has said that we will become. Ilakuba ya siatoraka. Ema no noskota la baratante kepea. Ikuta ni ma noskoto de donta. Let the power of the Lord come upon you. Let the power of the Lord come upon you. Let the power of the Lord come upon you. That you will become that which has been prophesied about you in accordance with God's will for your life. Oh ya baba ba soko ya. Nante kapali katali dalatiata. Ita la bakante leke bante leke te. Ilakuba power to be healed in your body i know you've been going to doctor after doctor just like that woman with the issue of blood the bible says she had gone from physician to physician she exhausted all her resources and she saw jesus was in the crowd she pressed in oh god and when she touched the hem of his garment the bible says virtue came out of him it was power that came out of him it was power that came out of him for her to be healed the doctors could not help her the doctors could not do anything to reverse that infirmity but when she touched the hem of jesus garment power came out i connect you with the power to heal you of every bodily infirmity every mind infirmity every emotional mental infirmity Candele bacante lekea, ora baskete in the lapata, recotos cabante ketea. Scripture says how Jesus upholds all things by the word of his power, by the word of his power. Even the word of God has power, even the word of God has power. Maleka so copa la catonta la bacante keteke, ilo copande le barante caparacatonta, ebereke sonta capande getea, uratia coraca pacala shatana barasa catana. There was one time that I was applying for something. And when I applied, they told me that I was not qualified. Even though I had all the qualifications, they told me that I wasn't qualified. I said, okay. I got off the phone, prayed in the Holy Ghost, generated some power, called back again. The way that the person spoke to me, it was as though they were hearing me for the first time. It was as though they were hearing me for the first time. I didn't come with anything different. I didn't come with new documents or anything different. I came 
after I had generated power in the place of prayer and the response was different oh God if you have been disappointed rejected you're speaking at your job in your career and nobody seems to take your suggestions they're not even taking anything you're saying they're taking you for granted they can't hear you they can't see you oh generate power today go back again in the might of the Lord go back again in the power of the Lord you receive power to become a suta but those kota the word of God has said as many as them received him have you received Jesus if you have received him and you have believed in him then you are a candidate for power we not taking no for an answer in the name of Jesus we have ten power to become power to become the first millionaire in your in your bloodline power to be that what the Lord has called you so long as it is written in your destiny oh may the Lord empower you to do it may the Lord empower you to do it may the Lord empower you to do it we hold on to the hands of the altar for power to become God. The power to become all you have said, all you have written, all you have aforementioned concerning our lives here on earth. Power to become. As we are not going to continue spinning our wheels in the name of Jesus. We obtain power to make a difference, to become, to become to become maseka los kotarata parata skatata la data ikoradanta kapande la katonta e barata dala baka dala baka zaga daba ka ikorada baso kobora katonata e tolebe kondoro boskiantara e paraka de gandora bata itota la batante ilakushka bada le barata entoko bala toskara dara kapaya katana kapa isota la baya kata yakaba sakaya iparada ya satana kashanta ya Iborotos compa kaya tanta, eladishka bara tante kayata, ibarako da liba soko panda ya, ilotoshka banda la kabaska da, elaka bande gen de gay, elanda skanda banda ya, e bonto konde rebe ke, e salobo kotore shekelebe konto, ibarana sakapala da kayaka pa, isoraka pana sakata la kapa, and son konto lobo konde kata ya, e kadaba yaka baka telata, mande kebe kendo yata, i bonto rabadashka, ento ya bayante. Let the fire of God fall in the name of Jesus. Se que se que se que isso tonta linda tante Masse ke barata ta, isoka bada la kapa, esoko baraka tiata, imane ke seki atosha, e barati atolata ya, e barati a shalatura, i boroko suba ya siata, yata ya bayata, yaka ya, e porana kapa la kapana, sakapana yakatana, e poraka sakapana sakatana ta, e baraka donta kapa donta kapa diya danta, i bereke te kolaba taka la kata, ente la badanta ta, embande ya tante ya ta, e bande ke la patonta, e suta la batante, risi power to become ilatushka 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 you came here to recharge yourself in the holy spirit recharge obtain power to become don't leave here empty-handed you came here for us as a corporate body to recharge together every power that you need to become receive it in the name of jesus every power 
power that you need to become receive it in the name of Jesus every power that you need to become receive it in the name of Jesus every power that you need to become receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus eloso bayando kopaya kaya esike beya katoma ndi adala batante esike balante ke bekente lete ya iskala badonte kapande lete ya masketa labante katanante isura bayanto kopande yata ekobai kadai barakata I know you are beautiful. I know you have a good character. But it would take power to break that pattern in your bloodline that is resisting you. What your beauty cannot get you. What your character cannot get you. Your beauty, your character will be needed in the front. But what it cannot get you now. Receive the power of the Lord to become, to become, to become what your skills cannot give you. What your Degree has refused to open that door for you. He bakusa kabante kedeyanto. Receive the power to become. He latus kadamanonte yadada. Eko boske bakata. Receive the power to become the deliverer in your family. To break people out of the bondage of darkness. To break them into the light of God. Receive power yakatoshka. Imandes kadeyadante. Raka se kadaya. Mande kedande kata. Ura babante katadoska. Iladushka bakadande. Ora mandas kada baya kapaya cha, eka baya da kapaya da kata, eka bakata ya bakata. And Gideon was the smallest in his clan. He was the least in his clan. He was a weak man physically, and he had an encounter with the angel, and they called him O oh, man of valor, O oh, man of valor. Barike sokopalisha kapande ya taya, e baraske teni atona na niya kapana, e pakoshka tana mana kapande, ilotoshka biantoshka bala. Dante, a mask, a bike, a day, a da, in the Kaiba Kaikata, Zikabanto Yakabante, get a day, in the Lacabante, Lekijante, Ebalacajente, La Baconta, Ebalacabante, get a oh, Yababas Catala Danta, Maske Telebetele Betele, Urakajate, and Abasco Yaba. Oh, obtain power to become. In this new week, receive power to become. I hope you have received a recharge from the throne room of heaven. I hope you have received a recharge from the spirit of might. Power to become today. Power to become tomorrow. Power to become forever. Power to become to the day that you stand with your maker. Power to become. Father, release your power that we may become. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We obtain power. We obtain an empowerment to become. We obtain power to become every single thing that you have written in the books concerning our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And Jesus said that he looked to find in the books where it was written about him. And Jesus fulfilled everything. It took power. It took power when Jesus' flesh was about to overcome him. And he was like, oh God, if this cup can pass from me, let it pass. But it said, Oh, he said, not my will, but your will. It took power. Jesus always went and reclused. He went to the mountain to pray. He needed power to go and bear the weight of the cross. He needed power to go and bear the weight of everyone's sin. He needed power to remain on that cross. It took power. It took the power and the might of the Holy Ghost for him to do such a, a heavy thing. It took power for Jesus to fulfill his will. If it took power for God's incarnate, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, to do it, it will also take us power. In the midst of everything else, get the skills, do the mentorship, do the training, but please press in for power. If God has led you to go for a mentorship and do this, it's because the Lord has empowered that vessel to help you. Abba Father, we thank you for power. We thank you for the power to become. Father, we bless your name. I didn't want to stop praying. I felt charged and charged and charged. But I, 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 I have to stop. I can't continue and hold you guys here. Thank you. And uh, while we are speaking about power to become the son of God, to become sons of God, I would like to pray for you if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior.
maybe you don't even know why you're here you don't even know how you clicked on this this live stream or the replay on youtube the bible says for as many as received him he gave them power to become sons of god and even as them who believed in him so if you have never given the lord your your life you've never you've never received him as your lord and savior or maybe you once maybe you once received him and the cares of this life the troubles of this life just took you away and you just fell out of course the lord the lover of your soul would like to restore fellowship and relationship with you please just repeat this prayer after me the bible says if you believe in your heart and you make confession with your mouth that god rose jesus from the dead that you will be saved for as many as them that call upon the name of the lord they will be saved so please repeat after me in the name of jesus lord jesus i confess that i am a sinner today i ask that you forgive me of all my sins i want to receive you today as my lord and as my savior wash away my sins with the blood of jesus fill me with your holy spirit i receive the power to forsake a sinful life i receive the power to overcome the grave i receive the power to overcome hell i receive the power to become your son and your daughter i receive the power to live for you use me oh god teach me your word and teach me your ways i want to live for you in jesus name i believe that you came to this earth and you walked this earth and you died on the cross you rose again after three days and you are coming back for me again i receive you as my lord and as my savior in jesus name amen if you said that prayer congratulations congratulations the lord will give you the power for you to not just believe and receive him but for you to also become the son of god we are sons of god it's not gender specific for you to become all that has been written in the volume of the books concerning your life let me just pray for you heavenly father i thank you for my brothers and sisters who have made this wonderful life long life changing decision to receive you i'm praying that the power to become will come upon them the power to become saved sanctified transformed holy the power to come and re and, and reject the the, the the delights and the sins of this world the power to live for you the power to give themselves over to prayer the power to give them stuff over to the study of your word the power to give themselves over to fasting i pray oh god that they will obtain power to not go back to the world again but to pressing and live for you from this day to they stand before you or to you come whichever one comes first so i'm praying about father today that you will cover them with the blood of jesus father i ask that you will lead them to a bible believing ministry i ask that you will fill them with the holy spirit that you begin to give them the milk of your word and transition them quickly to the meat the strong meat of your word i'm praying oh god that not one soul will be lost no one nothing shall pluck them out of your hands they are saved to the uttermost in the mighty name of jesus and the holy spirit will seal them even unto the day of redemption father we bless you and thank you for the souls we welcome them into the sheepfold we welcome them into the family of christ we are excited the angels are, are rejoicing in heaven for this new harvest in jesus mighty name amen Thank you for sticking it out with me. You can do well to go back and watch the replay, pray along throughout the week for you to obtain power to do that which you tried to do before, to become all the Lord has created you to do. I also go back and I watch the replay so that I can be in a position where I'm receiving in the name of Jesus. I love you with the pure love of Jesus Christ. Let me just pray for you to close out this session. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters who we're rocking it with me today generating power in in your presence i thank you for everyone who would also watch on the replay on youtube lord i bless you i ask that you will keep them your word says that you are able to keep that which is committed unto you against that day i'm praying that you will keep them their families and everything that pertains to life and godliness father under the pavilion of your wings no evil shall befall them neither shall any plague come near their 
their dwelling. I'm praying that you will give the angels that are appointed and assigned to them a command and a charge over them and the angels will bear them up in not just some of their ways but all of their ways lest they dash their foot against a stone. Even if a thousand were scheduled to fall and ten thousand at their right hand, ah, in the name of Jesus, it will not come nigh them. Only with their eyes shall they look and see the reward of the wicked. They are blessed in their going. They are blessed in their coming. Their families are blessed. Their children, their husbands, their wives, their businesses, their careers, their mind, their bodies are blessed. They are blessed in the name of Jesus and all shall indeed call them blessed. Father, until next time, next week, same place, God willing, we trust by faith that you will preserve us and we'll be here again for another Saturday recharge. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for rocking with me. I'm sorry it's no longer 30 minutes. The prayers go over 30 minutes as expected, as always been um, need. I'm just going to go through the uh, live chat really quickly if there's anything that I have missed. Someone asked them, what's my YouTube name? It's the same as my Instagram name. It is J for Jesus. You can find me on YouTube, J for Jesus. Um, I don't know if anyone asked a question. I'm just going to go quickly through this uh, comments below because once I end the live video, I don't get to see it. I don't get to see it. Comments. Code. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. If you join in late, please go back and watch the replay. It will really bless you. It will always bless you. Just go back, go back and pray. Go back and pray with the video. I always do that. Hallelujah. Someone said that this is a powerful confirmation. Hallelujah. Let, let me see what gives us spirit. Okay. Ah, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for rocking it out with me. Thank you for sticking it out with me. I will see you next week. Same time, same place. God willing. I'm praying for you. I'm believing for you. I'm pressing in for you. I love you with the pure love of Jesus Christ. And uh, be empowered to become. God bless you. Take care.